Welcome to a new video about Stream Deck. My name is Nico, and today I want to solve the issue with you of a boring Stream Deck. So if your Stream Deck looks something like this, or you want to know how you can customize your Stream Deck actions, stick around so I can show you a few ways on how you can do it. There are a few ways to roam, and we can explore a couple of them today. So let's check the options that you actually do have. So Stream Deck comes with an icon library that you can access via the drop dropdown on your action right there. So just use this one and then this will bring you to the different options that you actually do have. So this is the built-in icon library that comes with Stream Deck. You have a bunch of default icons that match the streaming use case and the office use case very good. You get a few brand icons, you get legacy icons, and you can extend your icon library with icon packs from the Elgato Marketplace. So for example, I have uh, VS Code icons here and you can see that they're slowly loaded. Um, then we also have, for example, icons here that are all in the same theme. Really, really cool. <clears throat> so if you want to check out the Elgato Marketplace, here it is. There are a bunch of free icon packs. You have some that are, for example, you know, in, in NeoGrids, then you have some here for the Legion, um, NVIDIA styled ones. And, you know, there are a ton more icon packs to match, you know, quite a few use cases and styles. Still, it can happen that in that vast, you know, environment of icons, you still do not find the icons or the style that you like. So what can you do about this now? Obviously, you can create your own icons. And to do that, Agato is providing something that's called the key creator. So we can have, you know, a blank, black canvas. Um, we can add, for example, a gradient. So that's pretty nice. And we can just choose a color, for example. Um, we can have a font on here. Um, we can, you know, size this on the canvas. Or we can just add a straightforward background color. And on top of that, we can, for example, add an icon. So, and then we can move this around. And, you know, stream, uh, the key creator lets us save these keys and they will be just downloaded and you can drag and drop them onto your action. So let's do this um, for this one. Uh, let's open this real quick in the, in the browser and drop it on here. So now you can see directly this uh, we created an icon. It's not the best one for a control C hotkey, but so, you know, straightforward and simple. There's another option. You can use this to create a template for you. So you have the right proportions and right dimensions for your individual designs. <clears throat> and that is quite important because, you know, with this proportions and these dimensions, uh, your icons will look good on every stream deck. So I've prepared here a, um, black canvas and the white canvas. And what we can do is we can access other large icon libraries um, that we find on the internet. For example, um, the one I really do like is icon eight. And, you know, we have the use case of control C, which is a copy, um, you know, copy hotkey. And you can see there are a ton of um, <clears throat> icons for copying stuff. So if I go, for example, for this one, I can just um, say control C here, move it over to my editing tool. In this case, it's PowerPoint and why PowerPoint? Because I'm most proficient in PowerPoint. <clears throat> and then I have uh, the copy icon in with the black background and the white background. And all I need to do now is save this as a graphic, put it onto uh, my file system and let me show you here it is and now we can also drag and drop this onto our key remove the title because it's quite obvious that this is a copy action now and there you go this looks way cleaner than um, it did before so let me repeat this for all the others and then we will see how our Stream Deck looks now. So I did take the time now to quickly adapt all the icons and 
now this is what my stream deck looks like. I have my copy action. I have my you know control X cut action. I can paste whatever I copied beforehand. I can print. I can you know reverse or go forward again. I can select all and I can save. And this looks now way better than it did before. So just in comparison, here is a picture on what this looks on a Stream Deck Neo now. <laughs> <laughs>